Hi, I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm in here with Dr. Sean for uh, treatment of my knee. Six months post-op. Uh, I guess treatment wasn't working for the past six months, so Sean's doing some stuff. To All right, out. so this is Andrew's second visit. Last time when Andrew left, uh, his range of motion in his left knee, just like his right knee, was about 83 degrees, but when he came in, it was only about 73. So before we do anything today, uh, we're going to go ahead and check that range of motion again, make sure the change that we got was sustainable. How are we doing there? Okay, so we're going to stop right about there. He said that's pretty tight. Want to bring that camera around this way, Rachel? As you can hear, he said we can push a little bit more if we want to, but you can see that range of motion is still 79 degrees, right? That's the angle of his shin. Compared to last time when we first started, it was at 73 degrees. So I'm very happy with All that. Right, so we're going to be using our old style washa tool here. There's a lot more expensive tools on the market now. You got your hawk grips, you got your um, grasping tools, and I have them. But uh, for this spot right here, I find that the gua sha tool is really the best one to get in there. You can hear that. It would hurt much more if Andrew wasn't numb in this spot, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you say. That's what I say. What we're trying to do is create some local inflammation so that we can get out all the gunk that's in the area let his body do the work. All right, we're scraping away a really superficial scar tissue, but um, not that much with this tool. So now we're just looking for some scar tissue in uh, Andrew's rectus femoris because we know that's the spot that he has some trouble with. So we'll find some right here. Just going to put some pressure on and go ahead and work through it. All right, so you might remember when we first started the visit, Andrew was about 79 degrees of shin angle from the table. That's pretty tight. That's about it right there. We're not going to get much further than that. If you can come zoom in on that, you'll see. Looking at 84 degrees now. All right, so Andrew's range of motion on his bad leg is approaching his range of motion on his good leg. It's probably going to pass it pretty soon. And then we have to start working on the good one so it can catch up to the one that we're treating. 